For some of us, it's just a ride to work. Maybe the title of a movie. But here in Ottawa, as in many North American cities, the streetcar has passed into history. The stuff of old newsreels and fond remembrance. Until now. We started working on it bit by bit. Um, we never really envisioned we'd be to this point now, uh, but we thought we might make a dent in it. These volunteers are making a dent, or better yet, pounding one out in Streetcar 696. It's a 90-year-old piece of Ottawa transit history brought back from the boneyard for a second lease on life. It's a 1917 streetcar that uh, a bunch of the employees at OC Transpo decided in 1989 to get back from the Montreal uh, Rail Museum. I guess he put an announcement out somewhere that uh, we got a bunch of volunteers together. We've had some go, some come, and it's been a good five years of Wednesday nights pounding away on this thing. Restoration is a tricky business. It's all about getting the details just right and as close to the originals as possible. And the older the object being restored, the tougher that gets. Case in point, the humble rivet. Time was these things were used to assemble everything from the Empire State Building to the Ottawa trolley car. But that time passed about a half century ago. And these days, finding a good riveter is about as easy to do as finding a vegan at a barbecue. Very difficult. Uh, it's all, it was a, the way they built everything in the old days, in the 1930s, to almost like 38. But then after that, welding came in, and so it became a lost art, and most of the people that had the skills are in their 80s and 90s. But we did actually, by luck, bump into a gentleman over at one of our Ottawa Spring company, uh, companies, and uh, when I asked him to rebuild the springs, he mentioned that he had a uh, rivet background. So he came over and showed us what we needed and the tools and gave us some hints. Tonight what you saw was the first actual uh, attempt or professional attempt to put the streetcar back together. But there's more to it than rivets. Much of 696 has deteriorated, so new parts have to be made. Happily, local businesses have stepped forward to provide the materials. It's really given us a big boost because now we know we can make an operating car, which hopefully will be ready by 2009 when the light rail transit or light rail system comes into Ottawa and hopefully we'll be able to open the light rail system with the vintage car. When we started it off, right, I asked these guys if they wanted a static model or a rolling model. And as soon as they said rolling model, I was 100% on board. But the nice thing is, is that the light rail will be also the same track gauge as our streetcar. And hopefully if they go back to electrical, then we'll have our wires overhead as just like the old days. That's still a few years down the track, but these guys are passionate about making it happen and being first in line with a ticket. I will. I will. He will, yes. Yeah. It's been the longest time. It's going to be really exciting to see this coming down the track it's, uh, and saying that, yes, I was involved with this. And remember, if you have an Inside Ottawa story idea, we would love to hear it. You can contact me by logging onto our website at achannel.ca. And we have a lot more to come on A-Channel News at 6, including entertainment and sports. But first, let's check out your closing market numbers.